On this day, my role was as a Capitol Police officer. I'm Harry Dunn, and that meant putting aside who I am, a father, a Marylander, a Democrat, because I swore an oath to protect our Constitution, to protect our democracy. It's what allowed me to protect some members of Congress who I knew were bigots, who helped fan the flames that started all of this. I put country above self. The problem is, a lot of them didn't. Some of the same people who stood behind us when we protected them went back on the floor of Congress and stood behind Trump. They voted to acquit him. And worst of all, they denied the violence and trauma that led to the death of some of my fellow officers. I couldn't stand by and watch. I had another role to play. I used my voice to speak out, to get into good trouble. And a few weeks ago, I left the force after more than 15 years of service so that today I can announce I'm running for Congress. We can't ever let this happen again. And you've heard it from Trump himself. He is hell-bent on finishing what he started this day. I'm stepping into a new role today, but I can't do it alone. I believe every one of us has a role to play in this fight. So join me. We've got a democracy to protect. Some more information on the district. He is running for Maryland District 3. The current representative is John Sarbanes, who has won re-election eight times in a row. It is a very heavy Democrat district, and that representative is not seeking re-election. What you see behind me is on the Harry Dunn for Congress website. I'll have a link to that in the pinned comment if you would like. He was raised in Maryland by a family that taught him the values of duty, honor, and community. That's why he became a Capitol Police officer for 15 years. And that's why on January 6, 2021, he defended our nation's capital from a violent insurrection bent on destroying our democracy. Because for Harry Dunn, doing the right thing is a way of life. If we go down here, you'll also see in 2021, Harry Dunn and three other law enforcement officers testified before the bipartisan January 6th commission where he shared his account of what he experienced on that day. And yes, this is why MAGA absolutely hates him. A lot of them really hate the fact that he, you know, was willing to testify. And of course, in recognition for Officer Dunn's role in protecting the U.S. Capitol, President Joe Biden awarded him with the President's Citizens Medal. The medal is the second highest award a civilian can get and is given by the president to U.S. citizens who have performed exemplary uh, deeds of service for their country or their fellow citizens. And as you can see here, there's a lot more information. Um, right now, and this is a new campaign, um, uh, there's not like a lot of uh, policy stuff on the website. It's definitely going to be something you're, he's going to want to update because, um, you know, it needs to be there. But again, this was just this campaign was just announced, from my understanding, an hour ago. So there's plenty of time to do that. Honestly, the fact that he was a January 6th Capitol Police officer and the fact that he has that medal and that he testified before the January 6th Commission, that probably, you know, is enough, in my opinion. Like, I think that kind of lets people know where he stands. Although I do hope we get an issues page soon. Just be interested to see what is on that for just my personal interest. 